Today we are going to make something dark and mysterious, majestic. Well, give me some adjectives. Oh, don't put me on the spot like that. Give me something. Give me two. Gloomy? Gloomy? No. Midnight? Today we're going to make something unique and dark. What we want to do is take this ZGP Hypershift Pearl, which looks like a purple powder, but I promise it's not. We want to mix that and infuse it into shadow black. We're working on the STI right now. It's already got a black base on it. We don't know exactly how this is going to turn out, which is a good thing. We also have no idea how much pigment we should be using here. Because shadow black, sometimes it just eats up the pigment completely. And you have to dump a ton of it in for it to actually show through. And sometimes you could overdo it without even knowing it. The difference, in case you don't know, shadow black is like a satin black, and it's not as opaque as traditional black plastic. It's a little bit more translucent. That's one of the reasons why we use it with projects like this, because it lets that pearl fight through a little bit better. Now, obviously, we can start with just a 25 gram bag and see how it goes. Remember, we have to scale this up. Let me show you guys what this purple powder looks like. This is ZGP Hypershift. And this is going to be a terrible representation because it looks purple, but once it's sprayed down over a dark base, it activates and shifts from, I don't remember. We don't technically know. <laughs> but I remember doing this pearl in a video, and it's not purple. I don't know why the, the powder looks purple, but we don't have mixing sticks. How you guys doing? Good. Thank you, sir. I think it does go from like a gold green. It's just a safe guess though. <laughs> they all go from gold <laughs> green. Okay, so 25 grams. We could start there. Just remember, we have to make this into two gallons. So whatever we make here, we're technically gonna duplicate, right? Yeah, I would dump probably 50 in. 50? Let's see what 25 does. It's like 100% humidity inside the booth right now in case you see us both sweating. It's good for you though. Okay. Let's see if you can even tell that it's in there. It's gonna get eaten, man. Yeah. Now we don't want to completely eliminate the black from this. We want it to be dark. We want it to be menacing. We want those shifting powder or that shifting powder to play a role okay i don't even know what's going on there's like tiger stripes going it's on it's like it. a hurricane of pow this is very misleading okay stick of truth this is where a stick of truth shines because it's going to give us an idea of do we need more powder or not okay test number one i don't see a lot going on there i'm not gonna lie a little bit of a sparkle not much color though. So another one? Oh yeah. Okay. We may so, even need more. This is gonna be a very expensive project. So this is gonna be right right off the bat, this is a 50 gram load of ZGP in the shadow black. Which means we need to double this and grab another 50 grams and another gallon. Okay. What are we making? This is not See, there's no purple hue at all. What is going on on the side of the gallon? You're just smearing. I know. Why? Well, that's awesome. Oh, you like that? Yeah, it looks really cool, especially from this angle. Okay, let's see what this looks like. All right, a lot more color now. A lot more color. Well, some more color. I can't tell what's... I mean, what do you see? Do we stop there? I mean, we can't possibly put more than 50 grams per gallon in, right? Well, we can. We're both gonna be dehydrated by the time we figure out what we're doing. Yeah. Okay, we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll figure it out. Let's go.
All right, guys, we're all done with the project. Now, we didn't know what to expect mixing this particular hypershift directly into Shadow Black, but as soon as we got that first coat down, Gabe looks at me and goes, dude, I think we just made a camo color shift. I cannot believe that you can take essentially a purple colored powder and mix it directly into black paint and end up with a color like this. It just goes to show you, you never know what you're gonna get. I'm gonna bring the car outside right now so you guys can check it out. You know what to do. Take a look at this one, leave a comment below, rate this color one through five. If you love those stealthy, aggressive colors, this one's gonna be right up your alley. This one is one of my personal favorites. If you wanna dip your own car, click right up here. All of our kits are in one place. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I'll see you guys on the next video.